Audi's latest concept, the transforming active sphere, is, well, it's a bit difficult to explain. The electric sportback sedan crossover thing has a sleek coupe-like body that rides on a tall suspension with big 34-inch all-terrain tires, though they're wrapped around 22-inch wheels, so maybe more like most terrain. Anyway, you're not going to be rock crawling in this, and that's not even its final form. This thing transforms, raising its suspension and extending its lower sills to increase its 8.2-inch ride height to 9.8 inches for enhanced off-road performance and more generous approach and departure angles. Now, one of the benefits of a sportback is the spacious hatchback for cargo. But the active sphere goes a step further, transforming into a pickup truck of sorts on demand. The rear glass slides forward, almost flush with the glass roof, and a short tailgate flips down at the rear, forming the bed. Meanwhile, a mid-gate folds up to separate the newly formed bed from the cabin, and now you've got room for bulky items like bikes or camping gear or whatever without having to get the cabin dirty. Plus, infinite headroom. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so you've got your base mode for roads and trails, sort of like an electric Audi A6 all-road. You've got your lifted mode for more gnarly off-roading. You've got your pickup truck mode that's unlike anything Audi's ever done before. Would you believe me if I said it gets weirder? It gets weirder. Inside, the cabin is extremely minimalist, Spartan even. The spacious cockpit is made all the more open thanks to a mostly glass roof, glass panels in the door, and up front, a transparent version of Audi's single frame grille. So passengers can watch the road blur beneath their feet. There's no steering wheel, no big concept car screens, just four independently suspended seats, a wide wraparound dashboard with an integrated sound bar, and a tiny single line screen for a speedometer and a battery meter. However, when you don Audi's concept mixed reality glasses, a virtual holographic display fills the cabin with 3D topographic maps, virtual controls, all sorts of information. The holographic interface responds to hand track gesture controls, and you can grab bits of the interface and move them around in 3D space. Like if you want the volume knob like right here in front of your face for whatever reason, you can do that. It's kind of like that scene in almost every MCU film where Tony starts moving virtual bits of the Iron Man suit around to form his suit, except for you're doing that while you're driving. Except you're not driving. The concept is designed for level four autonomy, hence the lack of a steering wheel. So it can totally drive itself. But if you want to do the driving, which you may want to do in certain off-roads and dirty driving situations, a steering wheel can deploy from below the dashboard, allowing you to take control. And that also switches that mixed reality view to a detailed performance data view that has relevant information for driving, things like how much power you're using and detailed information about what the suspension and wheels are doing. Now, frankly, those glasses are the most sci-fi part of this whole concept. Even the best mixed reality goggles that I've used, the Varjo XR3 headset that BMW uses and its M mixed reality prototype are still big old honking virtual reality goggles. These things look like regular old wayfarers, which they probably are. It's just a concept after all. Now that said, the electric powertrain that underpins the active sphere is based on very real production ready tech. The concept is constructed on a modified version of the Premium Platform Electric, or PPE. That's the electric vehicle architecture that Audi shares with Porsche. The concept's Quattro electric all-wheel drive system uses dual motors that crank up 409 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. And with a large 100 kilowatt hour battery pack to draw from, Audi estimates around 370 miles of range for the concept, which is not going to build. This is just them stretching their design legs. Now the active sphere is the fourth in a series of sphere themed concepts that includes the sky sphere, a compact roadster that stretches out to a long wheel based grand tour thanks to its variable geometry. There's the grand sphere, a large D segment sedan and the urban sphere, a multi passenger vehicle with big interior space and a small exterior footprint for Chinese roads. You can head over to CNET Cars to learn more about the active sphere and all the rest of Audi's not literally spherical concepts and its e-tron series of production electric vehicles. They and all things electric cars can be found over on cars.cnet.com.